Let's begin with the latest that is unfolding in the crisis between Russia and Ukraine. Now, the United States has ordered family members of its embassy staff in Ukraine to leave the country. The decision comes due to the ongoing threat of Russia's military action. Other U.S. nationals in Ukraine have also been advised to leave. The U.S. has also advised its citizens against traveling to Russia. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said that there will be a united response by NATO allies against potential Russian aggression in Ukraine. Now, the statement comes after a week of high-level diplomatic visits, which involved a trip to Berlin and Geneva. First, we've been very clear that if there is any uh, further uh, Russian uh, aggression in terms of sending Russian forces uh, into Ukraine, there will be a swift, there will be a severe, and there will be a united response. Blinken has rebuffed calls to immediately impose economic sanctions on Russia. He says that doing so would undercut the West's ability to deter potential Russian aggression against Ukraine. Blinken added that if one more Russian force entered Ukraine in an aggressive manner, it would trigger a significant response. Meanwhile, UK's Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab told Sky News that Russia will face severe economic sanctions if it installs a puppet regime in Ukraine. I think the, the important point to note in all of this is it's building up slowly. I think uh, President Putin and Moscow have had this habit of trying to take uh, advantage of opportunities when the world's attention is perhaps elsewhere. And the Foreign Secretary is quite rightly pointing uh, to the designs that Russia has. And we're saying really two things. First of all, Ukraine is a free country uh, under international law. It should decide its own fate. Uh, we will support them in defending themselves. Uh, but also to the international community, European, uh, NATO allies, the US, uh, we're standing shoulder to shoulder saying there will be very serious consequences if Russia takes this move to try and invade, but also install a puppet regime. Now, yesterday, UK accused Russia of being in contact with a number of former Ukrainian politicians to allegedly plan an invasion. Russia dismissed the accusations and called it disinformation. Ukraine's ambassador to UK has said that he was not surprised by UK's allegations against Russia. That's what I would expect as a, as a logical next step in Russian invasion. So they will invade and they will have to establish some, some sort of government. So I'm not actually surprised. I believe Putin sees himself in the history books. But the question is what he wanted to be written there, that he reunited the Soviet Union back, which he believed was the you know, global geopolitical catastrophe when it collapsed. We believe that he can be somebody who would probably find the peace with the Russians themselves and will take care of Russians because they have to, you know, to be taken care better than they are now. Now, the former Ukrainian lawmaker Yevgen Moraev is one of the five individuals accused by UK for having links with Russia. Moraev has mockingly denied these allegations. Listen in. That's what I would expect as a, as a logical next step in Russian invasion. So they will invade and they will have to establish some, some sort of government. So I'm not actually surprised. I believe Putin sees himself in the history books, but the question is what he wanted to be written there, that he reunited the Soviet Union back, which he believed was the you know, global geopolitical catastrophe when it collapsed. We believe that he can be somebody who would probably find the peace with the Russians themselves. And Ukraine has vowed to counter destabilizing Russian influence over the country's political and economic spheres. The allegations leveled by the UK are only adding to tensions between Russia and the West. London has said that there is evidence that many former Ukrainian politicians had maintained links with Russia. Some were allegedly involved in planning for an attack on Ukraine.